we mix professional actors with non-actors all the time. What's happening in the movie is, see this man in brown? And he's holding a weird metal thing? He's like a stranger in the neighborhood. We always look for people who feel real to us. And sometimes there's no one better than the real person. In Bartlesville, we found people who were happy to talk. They might be ill, they might be incarcerated, and they were generous enough with their own experience to share what they were going through. I went in and was getting the normal routine, and he told me that I was pregnant. I, I think I've seen like 15 or 16 different people. It's pretty amazing, it's pretty powerful. And I don't know about the audience, but I think it was the most rewarding thing of this whole experience. It was for me to have the chance to go to their houses and talk to them and listen to them. Yeah, he don't mind me leaving my head on, but that power hit me right in the neck. Hey! <laughs> That's scary. Oh, that scared me too, but like a lightning rod. Right. Yeah, let's go. Beautiful light. It was about to rain. Let's not blow it. The city of Bartlesville was uh, was a character in the story. They were so ready to to get behind something that would benefit the community. Okay, good. We're just getting some wide shots of downtown. They were so supportive of the way that that, that, that we were working. We we get into the vans like a bobsled team out, and within 15 minutes we'll be shooting again. And obviously, in a, in a given day, we might visit 15, 20 different locations, and at times that could be an inconvenience to uh, to people. That community got behind this film and supported us in every way possible. That is, uh, uh, vamonos de aquí, to Bartonville. That is a wrap, yes.